Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm at the TFW 2005 and there has been a lot of photos on Instagram and Twitter about this figure. Which is the Cybertron mode of Jazz. I, I, I didn't notice either. But alright then. So today I'm going to take a look at the Transformers Legacy, uh, Legacy Evolutions Buzzworthy Bumblebee. This one we have here is the Deluxe Class Origin Autobot Jazz. Uh, so I am actually uh, surprised about it and I didn't even notice about it either. So before continuing on, if you guys already seen the last Legacy video that I did, go ahead and check it out and see the full playlist. And follow me on your social media, I have a link in the description down below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you can one of my gaming channels. So yes. So this is actually pretty good, but let's actually scroll down so you can see right there. So let's actually get it on with this right here. So Jazz looks absolutely amazing. Now he's representing the from the first episode of Transformers G1 for the first season. Um, with him and Bumblebee, of course, with his Cybertronian vehicle mode. The world looks absolutely good. There's like no vehicle cable showing off like getting away from articulation but i wish to get add some a little bit more paint to it if, if if i would ask just a little bit more blue and red on somewhere in the limbs same thing on the body you can see a little bit of red on the bumper which of course the bump this is the you know the, the fake bumper right here which is pretty nice what uh hasbro did a, you know a little bit of a, a fake fakeness to it so yes lol uh this is actually pretty cool. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Roller mode looks great. Of course, it's minus there's like a tiny gap right there in the side of the legs. Yeah, this actually sucks. Bro on vehicle mode, on the other hand, the vehicle mode looks splendid. There's no robot kill showing off. Well, you can see a little bit of the little heel spurk on the back of it, but the rest of it, it just compact everything inside of it. Like, shit, this is absolutely amazing. White and blue, nice, but no hints of red. Pretty sad. But this is absolutely good. Like, holy shit, this is absolutely good what Hasbro did to it. Top notch what they did to it. And also, there's the packaging of the box. I mean, the photo of the box right there looks amazing. You can see the artwork right there it looks great. And of course, you got this right there. Now, they have some photos showing off right there. You can see what the guy, I forgot his name is. Uh, okay, that's the kind of terrible looks of it. I need a perfect photo. So you can see. Uh, the only accessory that Jazz will come with is his, is his gun right here. Pretty nice. Looks pretty good. And of course, it will have some ankle pivot. Pretty nice also. The pack pack right here is it's a bit, a little bit of like, you know, bleh, but it doesn't interfere for the articul articulation. And you can see, you know, the rest of the vehicle mode right there looks great. And you can see the back of it right here. See the tiny heel spurt right here, the back of it. And I like the feet are folded like that. Like, the vehicle mode looks absolutely great. So, of course, the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line is going to be in Target exclusive. So, I'm not sure when it's going to come out. But hopefully, you guys can get it soon. And hopefully, I can get some of the Buzzworthy, Buzzworthy Bumblebee figures soon. Because I would like to get some of my collection. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to end this right here. So, have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out. Hello, my final message, goodbye.